The corona crisis is tightening its noose around animal necks. Everywhere we work, animals are in terrible trouble because of COVID-19. We are receiving more and more pleas for help from around the world, stretching our budget and our team's capacity to help all those animals in distress. One of our major tasks has been to make sure that our 12 street dog feeding and rescue projects in nine countries continue to operate. We stockpile dog food and have permission to visit and help street dogs during lockdown everywhere we work. In Thailand, we are very proud that we managed to step in and help the Barn Unrak Thai Animal Sanctuary survive when it was about to run out of money and food. One of the dogs we saved is Shiny. When our team rescued her, she'd been so neglected there was a maggot eating through a flesh wound on her head. Now safe at the sanctuary, Shiny is on the road to recovery. In the Philippines, we continued our work at the Mindanao CAR shelter. Billy was one of the dogs we rescued from a so-called wet market, where live animals are slaughtered on the spot for humans to eat for lunch. Wet markets are the source of the corona crisis, and we are working as hard as we can to have these disease centers closed forever. Street cats have a rough life in the Philippines. Wanton cruelty happens every day. Someone constricted Ocho's abdomen with a thick band of rubber. When we got to him, his midsection had been eaten away. The good news is that he's going to be okay, and our team is caring for him. In Turkey, we managed to get extra food to the dogs near Tepecek and beat a nationwide COVID-19 lockdown, just in time to avert dogs from starving. In the area around Tepecek, thousands of street dogs scrabble in existence, surviving largely on discarded chicken carcasses from egg producers. There's other good news from Turkey. The authorities have agreed to work with us to provide long-term hope for the dogs by creating new shelters. In South Africa, we have expanded our feeding programs and won a battle to allow dogs to be spayed and neutered during lockdown. We highlighted the increased abuse of street dogs by people apparently taking their lockdown frustrations out on animals. The most shocking example was of poor pit bull Rex whose back was deliberately broken by monsters who then buried the creature alive. We got there in time to dig the dog out, but not to save his life. Illegal horse racing is an increasing problem in South Africa's rural areas. In so-called bush racing, horses are stolen and raced until they drop. We rescue as many as we can. Here's what happened to two rescue horses. He was rescued from bush racing and he was very scarred by the experience. I think he was really abused and hit. And I think it's amazing that we've been able to provide them with happy homes. Finally, here's a message from David Barrett, our executive director. I just want to say thank you, because we can't do what we do without your donations. And so many of you have given us money to help save animals in this corona crisis. Thank you, each and every one of you.